Hello everyone, this is Mohammed from um, saroventure.com. Uh, I welcome you to our channel and community. We are very grateful for you watching this video right now. So uh, let's begin by uh, me giving out the point of uh, of this video and what we're gonna what, what we're going to talk about in this video. So today we're going to talk about the differences between business development and digital marketing. So as you guys know that I own a business development firm. So how is that business development firm different from a digital marketing firm, traditional digital marketing, let's call it, because nowadays we see a lot of digital marketers, but business development is very, very rare in these days. So I want to discuss the two differences in these, both the both businesses. So let's begin by talking about what is business. Let, let's, let's rather begin by talking about what is digital marketing first, right? So digital marketing is, as the name suggests, it's about marketing your product or services on the digital platforms, right? So in, in normally digital marketing involves Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, <coughs> website development. I mean, yeah, I mean, some people do offer website development in that uh, uh, digital marketing thing, but mainly it's all about uh, email marketing, uh, affiliate marketing, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, all of this stuff comes into digital marketing. And how is it different from uh, business development? So let's let's discuss business development now. In, in business development, it's not only about the digital platforms that we can use to develop someone else's business, but it's also about understanding their whole, uh, their demographics, their geographic, if you're located in certain areas, like if you're located in Alabama, if you're located in uh, Toronto, Vancouver, the, the demographic, the geographics, uh, the industry that you're in, the type of products and services you offer, uh, your customer acquisition process, how, uh, what is your sales funnel, what the offers you give to the customers, what type of mindset do you have, what type of culture do you develop in your companies, uh, what do you, what are the core values of your company? These are the type of things that come into business development. On the right hand side, we have digital marketing. On the left hand side, we have business development. So these are the main core differences between being a business developer and then being a digital marketing firm. So uh, honestly, if, I, if I'm if i like a normal per person who's starting out in a new business venture or who already has a business, I would definitely choose somebody who, who, who's, who's developing my business more than just the social media, right? Because it has more benefits like understanding uh, the whole game in the depth, you know, understanding the product and how we can improve the product, uh, what type of customer acquisition process we can go through. If you have a physical store, if you have a physical location, what can we do to bring in more customers? And by also using the digital platforms that we have um, available today in this uh, 21st century, so these are the, this is what the difference is between digital marketing and business development. I hope that's clear to you guys. If you have any question regarding these, uh, let me know in the comment section below and make sure you hit subscribe and you like the video. And uh, yeah, I also want to talk about uh, mindset and mentorship, which is also a part of business development, right? So like we all know that, uh, you know, most of the people in the world, 90 to 95 percent of the people in the world are working a nine to five and a, a really small minority of people do business. Right. So many people try to start their business. They have a big vision. They have goals, their dreams that they want to accomplish. They have big uh, the targets they want to hit and they want to jump into business. Right. But coming from a nine to five employee, uh, standpoint and the, and the culture and the lifestyle, it gets really difficult to adjust into the business environment because it's, it involves a lot of new things. It involves dealing with the clients, dealing with the customers, dealing with suppliers, uh, dealing with the recurring business expenses like rent, electricity, stuff like that. 
So there is a huge gap and there is a huge gap between the mindset and lifestyle of all, both of these people. One who are coming from jobs and the ones who are in business. There is a huge shift and people have to go through this learning curve to actually succeed in business and really make it to the next level. You know. So yeah, in this business development, we are more on mindset, uh, customer acquisition, a digital marketing, of course, uh, understanding the whole uh, business model, the sales process, the sale funnels, uh, their physical location, uh, the offer that they're giving, uh, the f their future projections, their growth forecasts, so what they're looking for in the next six months, one year, three months. So that's what we are about at uh, AmsaroVenture.com. Make sure you visit our website and you can book a free call with us for 30 minutes. We can discuss your business. We can talk about it. We can look into how we can grow it together. And we really care about our clients and people that work with us. And we appreciate your time watching this video right now. And uh, that's all for today. Have a nice day, guys. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.